An electrolytic cell is an electrochemical cell that drives a non-spontaneous redox reaction through the application of electrical energy. They are often used to decompose chemical compounds, in a process called electrolysis. The Greek word lysis means to break up. Important examples of electrolysis are the decomposition of water into hydrogen and oxygen, and bauxite into aluminium and other chemicals. Electroplating e of copper, silver, nickel or chromium, is done using an electrolytic cell. Electrolysis is a technique that uses a direct electric current DC. An electrolytic cell has three component parts, an electrolyte and two electrodes a cathode and an anode. The electrolyte is usually a solution of water or other solvents in which ions are dissolved. Molten salts such as sodium chloride are also electrolytes. When driven by an external voltage applied to the electrodes, the ions in the electrolyte are attracted to an electrode with the opposite charge, where charge transferring also called Faradaic or redox reactions can take place. Only with an external electrical potential i.e. voltage of correct polarity and sufficient magnitude can an electrolytic cell decompose a normally stable or inert chemical compound in the solution. The electrical energy provided can produce a chemical reaction which would not occur spontaneously otherwise. Topic: <laughs> Galvanic cells compared to electrolytic cells. A galvanic cell can be considered an electrolytic cell acting in reverse. While electrolytic cells convert electrical energy into chemical energy, galvanic cells convert chemical energy into electrical energy. Galvanic cells are often used in batteries. <laughs> Anode and cathode definitions depend on charge and discharge Michael Faraday defined the cathode of a cell as the electrode to which cations positively charged ions, like silver ions Ag+, flow within the cell, to be reduced by reacting with electrons negatively charged from that electrode. Likewise he defined the anode as the electrode to which anions negatively charged ions, like chloride ions Cl- flow within the cell, to be oxidized by depositing electrons on the electrode. To an external wire connected to the electrodes of a galvanic cell or battery, forming an electric circuit, the cathode is positive and the anode is negative. Thus positive electric current flows from the cathode to the anode through the external circuit in the case of a galvanic cell. Consider two voltaic cells of unequal voltage. Mark the positive and negative electrodes of each one as P and N, respectively. Place them in a circuit with P near P and N near N, so the cells will tend to drive current in opposite directions. The cell with the larger voltage is discharged, making it a galvanic cell, so P is the cathode and N is the anode as described above. But, the cell with the smaller voltage charges, making it an electrolytic cell. In the electrolytic cell, negative ions are driven towards P and positive ions towards N. Thus, the P electrode of the electrolytic cell meets the definition of anode while the electrolytic cell is being charged. Similarly, the N electrode of the electrolytic cell is the cathode while the electrolytic cell is being charged. Uses As already noted, water, particularly when ions are added salt water or acidic water, can be electrolyzed subject to electrolysis. When driven by an external source of voltage, H plus ions flow to the cathode to combine with electrons to produce hydrogen gas in a reduction reaction. 
Likewise, O- ions flow to the anode to release electrons and an H plus ion to produce oxygen gas in an oxidation reaction. In molten sodium chloride, when a current is passed through the salt, the anode oxidizes chloride ions Cl- to chlorine gas, releasing electrons to the anode. Likewise the cathode reduces sodium ions Na+, which accept electrons from the cathode and deposits on the cathode as sodium metal. Sodium chloride dissolved in water can also be electrolyzed. The anode oxidizes chloride ions Cl- and Cl2 gas is produced. However, at the cathode, instead of sodium ions being reduced to sodium metal, water molecules are reduced to hydroxide ions O- and hydrogen gas H2. The overall result of the electrolysis is the production of chlorine gas and aqueous sodium hydroxide NaOH solution. Commercially, electrolytic cells are used in electrorefining and electrowinning of several non-ferrous metals. Almost all high-purity aluminium, copper, zinc and lead is produced industrially in electrolytic cells. <laughs> <laughs> Cell types Concentration cell Electrochemical cell Galvanic cell <laughs>